Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a user that has their own login on the AWS console. Uh, so I am currently logged in as a administrator of this account. So I have all the administrator permissions, so I'm able to do this. Uh, so make sure that if you're also trying to do this, you have the correct IAM permissions to create users and attach policies to them. Um, so a use case for something like this is maybe you want your devs to just sign in uh, using a specific account that has limited permissions or all permissions. Or maybe you want someone like your accountant or your billing department to have a specific role to take a look at the billing dashboard to get uh, information about your account. Uh, so those are the kind of use cases where this is appropriate. Uh, so let's show you how to do it now. So we're going to go to the find services section, type in IAM, click on that guy. Now we're going to go to the users section over here on the left, going to click on users. And I already have a user here that I created just for testing, but I'm going to click on add user here at the top just to show you from scratch exactly how this works. So clicking on that, uh, here we need to add a username. So let's just say this is for John. And we want to go down here and under the select AWS access type, we want to select this tick box here for AWS management console access. And we see here that it says it enables a password that allows the user to sign in using the console. That's exactly what we want. Click on that guy. Uh, and it's going to ask us now if we want to auto generate a starting password or set something as custom. Uh, so I'm just going to set something as custom. Let's just say the password is going to be, I'll show you here, uh, foobar123. I'll copy this to clipboard for later. Um, and this prompt here is just basically saying that when the user logs in for the first time, they have to create a new password. Uh, probably a good idea to do this because um, you want them to have their own specific password that no one knows about. In this case, I know about this password, which is bad. Um, I'm not going to do that for this exercise, though. I'll just show you how it works. Uh, but rest assured, that's exactly what will happen when the person tries to log in for the first time. So I'm going to unclick this box and then click on next in the bottom right. Now, at this point, we need to associate permissions that we want this user to have. Uh, so we have three options here. You can add them to a group that has permissions associated with the group. Uh, you can copy permissions from an existing user. Maybe if you already have a template or something set up that has everything that the person will need, or you can attach existing policies directly. Uh, so I'm going to use this one, attach existing policies directly. Clicking on that guy. Uh, and I said it originally that maybe billing is a use case where you want to give um, the billing dashboard permissions to your, your billing department. Uh, so if we type in billing now, I believe they have one for this specifically, and they do. So this is an AWS provided one. That's what the orange um, kind of cube here is signifying. Uh, so if we click this guy open and click on JSON, if I scroll down, you can see all the permissions that get associated with this. So basically everything from the, the billing perspective and in the billing dashboard. Uh, so that's exactly what we want. That's great. Um, going to click on policy summary again. I think it tells you, yeah, so more information on what this uh, user will have access to with this uh, policy template. So I'm going to click on next and go to tags. Um, I'm going to leave this blank. You can use this to organize your users if you want. Uh, I'm going to click on review now in the bottom right. And actually, oh, look, I forgot to associate. I forgot to, to confirm here. Uh, so how do I confirm that? Right, so click this box. Make sure you click the checkbox or else uh, the policy is not going to be applied. So let's go back down, click on next again, click on, click on next again. And now we can see here we have John. Uh, he's got his AWS management with a password. Um, we set him his password, doesn't require a reset. So basically a summary of everything that John is going to have. And here are the policies that are associated with him. I'm going to go ahead and click on create user now. And there you go, John is created as a user. So you can actually click on this button here, send email, and this will send an email to an email that you specify that gives initial login instructions for John. Uh, so I'll do that and show you exactly what the email looks like. So here's what the email will look like. It'll give you a URL that says this is the URL that you need to go to to log in. And it also specified the username that you're to use. So let's go and grab this email. I just copy this to my clipboard. I'm going to go back now to the console. And let's go to the top here and I'm just going to paste in that URL and we're going to log in as John. Okay, so with that URL, it pre-populates my uh, credentials here. So my account ID. So my username is John in this case and my password was foobar123. 
and then click on sign in now. And now I am logged in as John. We can see that at the top right here. And this was my AWS account ID. And if I try to do things that I don't have permission for, uh, I'm gonna get some error messages, but uh, John here has permissions to check out the billing dashboard, so he is free to do that. Uh, so that's how you can create a user that has specific permissions and a specific login in the AWS console. So if you like this video, I also have another one on enabling two-factor authentication, which I'll put in the description section below when it's ready. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next video. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.